Hi. So today a little tea brewing session. I like tea and uh, I've got a pretty vast collection of it, I think. Um, yeah, so today I am having the wild strawberry oolong. Although I never know what's the right pronunciation for that word. In my language, you would say oolong. But uh, in English, it's spelled like oolong. But the word is Chinese, I suppose it must be. And I've got no idea whatsoever what would be the right pronunciation for that. Yeah, the overall idea of this. Um, video came to me just to show you the beauty of that tea in a, well this is not a kettle but what can we call this? Uh, well, in the glass, okay? Because I've got no better word for it. And yes, I've got uh, um, these weird uh, brightly lit panels lying around um, just because, honestly, the main scene is the tea, so I wanted to give it some shine as much as possible, maybe. I'm not doing a perfect job on it, but, um... So usually this tea takes, um, well it says that it should be brewed for uh, two minutes maximum. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I once left it for like ten minutes uh, or even more just because I couldn't um, make it in time to uh, come up and pour it into uh, a cup. And I didn't like the taste. The taste was very well. I've no, I've got no better word for it than strong. Um, and this is uh, completely my personal preference. Like my girlfriend is uh, an even bigger tea fan, um, but she usually likes her tea strong. And I don't. Uh, so for me, it's always a fuss to run up to the kettle in time. But I am pretty sure that uh, there, there's been at least three minutes already. And uh, let's let's give this tea its final final looks. I don't know. Just look at it. It's. So, now that we're done with that, I I suppose I'm just gonna sit and talk about uh, anything really that comes to my mind um, while I take some sips. Mm. It's very refreshing. I had poured a little bit of just cold water. Um, before um, pouring in the tea, just because um, otherwise it would have been too uh, too hot, and I cannot drink like boiling hot water. Um, I don't know, my mum can. She always drinks her tea like um, po 
pours the piping hot water straight out of the kettle that's just boiled. I don't know how she does that, but I don't think that's good. And anyway, I cannot uh, handle that. My my receptors can't. Um, yeah. So. Well. Um, yesterday I released a burner black roleplay. I had been preparing for it for a while. Um, I had bought all the props uh, in advance. Well, I'm saying all the props. I had bought the cigarettes only. Those were just uh, those weren't real cigarettes, so I don't smoke, and I really hate tobacco smoke. Like my previous job was just one of the most terrible things about it was the smokers everywhere just because they couldn't leave the words like most of them were like had to stay in bed so they just kept smoking in the words and it was terrible and I every time I came to work like I could smell that odor um straight from the elevator and yeah so but burner is I feel like uh, smoking and drinking wine are like one of his most key features. Um, um, as well as reading books, obviously, and just learning books, and I try to incorporate all of that. I know I didn't do a great job uh, in acting, but uh, that's no surprise to me because I cannot act. I really cannot. I, uh, my voice is pretty high for uh, a, a man, <laughs> right? Um, so I think that's also a thing for those who judge people by the length of their hair. Who who ask me like, oh, excuse me, are you male or female? Like, Jesus, can't you tell? Honestly. Uh, Hair length is not a feature that defines uh, someone's sex, sex, gender, identity. It's so difficult using these words these days, but what I mean is the most basic biological thing, right? Yeah. Um, my dad said I was too patient for Bernard. Uh, black, watching black books is kind of a family thing. In this household, um, so we all love the series, and and my friends love it too. So um, yeah, it's brilliant, and uh, I I feel like Bernard is the character that I could play the best out of everyone else in that series because I am a little bit like him. Um, well. What else to say? I don't know. Um, so, what do you think of uh, this video idea, the brewing tea session? I know it's not like a complete tea ceremony, right? Um, although I'd like to make that one, but I uh, don't have the necessary like uh, utensils or... I don't even know uh, the ceremony itself too well to be able to perform it um, myself. Um, yeah. Um, but that would have been nice for maybe one day uh, if we keep the series running, but it depends on you if we will keep. Um, this sort of videos up because I really need your feedback and um, like I know, I know, it's, uh, it's just natural that uh, people rarely write something, right? Um, it's okay and 
I will be like um another idea about a, a tea drinking video but that would be um not this kind of tea which is like leaves that you brew in a pot a pot i remember the word by the end of the video right well um so not the leaves that you brew in a pot but just uh, tea bags uh but uh is nice tea also and i'll have a little story to tell about it if we make it so please let me know if you would like me to continue these tea drinking videos it was also pretty weird for me to find out that um uh hang on i'll take a couple of sips i'm so The weather is uh, pretty horrible these days. Um, I don't know. It just uh, went from abruptly went from uh, almost summer, with like uh, twenty degrees above zero to uh, zero again, and now we're having like yesterday. N no, two days ago we had snow, like in the middle of May, almost, all okay at the beginning, but it's May, and, um, didn't really get snow in May here, um, and today we're having, uh, hailstorms, and the wind is, uh, blowing really hard out there, so, yeah, the weather is, uh, pretty horrible, but the only good thing is that they turned the central heating, back on again and which is great because last few days i was just sitting here and i was dressed in several layers of clothes to keep myself warm because it was freezing yeah I also know it's a little weird that I'm drinking out of such a large mug, but um, I used to have normal sized mugs. I don't know, they were about like maybe 300 milliliters or something. surprised me to find out uh, during the COVID pandemic um, that a lot of people in America never used kettles before that pandemic and I thought well how, how on earth do you brew tea? <laughs> yeah I'm sorry I know it's like it's okay and everybody's got their own customs and stuff um, but I 
it was a little unexpected for me um yeah uh i've seen one guy uh maybe some of you know him uh james schultz uh, he uh became a famous youtuber around the, the pandemic time as well um but he's a lot of like uh study gram study tube is this a thing um but those people who stream how they study and everybody else can join them and it's like encouragement for everybody to just um sit and tuck in to your studies yeah i uh still watch his channels but mostly his lifestyle videos uh he's a really great personality i can't say the same about myself unfortunately <laughs> but yes well it takes work um and i'm so lazy uh, most times uh well um yeah so what i saw in his videos was that he just uh warmed the water up in a microwave straight in a cup and i was like well i thought it was his sorry the humidifier goes off um i thought it was like his original thing about how he cooks his cooks his tea but then i found out about the thing and well all right okay that's that's totally fine it's just uh i didn't know about it hadn't know about it Tomorrow, me.